The truth can take scrutiny, but lies cannot. Because as it is said, oh, the tangled webs we weave when first we practice to deceive. But before we go any further, you know what to do. Please hit that subscribe button and give us a like. As always, such a great big thank you to all of our patrons and our producers here on Esoteric Atlanta. If you would like to join our patron and or our producer community to help support this channel, there is a link down in the description box below. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce. This episode today is an episode that I have truly, truly been looking forward to. I've talked about Gypsy Rose Blanchard a couple of times on my channel and then over on Aquarius Rising Africa with Shanti. As many of you know, if you watch those videos, when Gypsy Rose Blanchard was released from prison at the end of 2023, I, like most people, believed that this was a girl who had had an extremely rough childhood, who was a survivor of Munchausen by proxy. I believed that the crime that she committed, the crime that she took a plea deal for, was a necessary step for her in her own self-defense so that she could be free and she could live her own life. As she was released from prison at the age of 33, me, like many other people, started noticing some pretty bad behavior from her on social media. Now, for those who are not from the United States, this girl was offered a reality show uh, with Lifetime after her release. She had all also prior done a few documentaries, including Mommy, Dead and Dearest and Gypsy's Revenge. Now, at first, I gave her the benefit of the doubt. After all, in my mind, I felt like she was a child that had been massively mistreated by her mother. And so therefore, even though she was technically in her 30s, she was suffering from arrested development. I felt like this little girl had been imprisoned for most of her life. And so give her some grace. Nonetheless, it started to get worse and worse and worse. I also started to notice there was a lot of lying, obvious lying, and manipulation on her part. Again, at first, I felt like the lying and the manipulation was probably just part of her PTSD. Now, as I say in this upcoming episode, and as I've spoken about before, I was driving home from teaching. I was on I-75, a freeway heading into Atlanta, sitting in traffic, and I had my phone plugged up to listen to podcasts via YouTube. And one episode had ended from one channel and another episode had begun. And you know, on YouTube, sometimes they will line up episodes for you with channels that you don't necessarily subscribe to, but maybe the subject matter is in line with other videos that you have previously watched. This is part of what the algorithms do, right? They, they look at content that you are watching and they recommend other like content. And that's when I discovered Fancy Maselli and her whole battle with this story. And within five minutes, my opinion on this case had completely changed. Since that happened, I have left my second Gypsy Rose Blanchard video, kind of retracting my previous video. Now, I will put those two videos down in the description box below. Now, for this first episode with Fancy, we were supposed to be doing it over on my friend Shanti's channel on Aquarius Rising Africa. I will link to that channel below. Unfortunately, there was a storm in South Africa and she lost power. And so what Fancy and I decided to do is we did a part one with me, where again, she just talks about her evolution with this case, everything that she has been through and she has gone through hell and back. But I feel like at this point, hopefully, I hope she feels validated and vindicated because the tides are turning. So this first episode, this part one episode, it's about two hours. 
of Fancy and I just talking about kind of her evolution with this case, where it started, where it is now, the different aspects of the manipulation with, with what was actually going on between Gypsy and her mother, Dee Dee, what we can speculate about that, given the evidence that we have. And then what we're going to do in part two, we're going to revisit part two with Shanti on Wednesday, September 4th a week out from when we were supposed to shoot at 12 p.m. Eastern time for a live show with Shanti, Fancy, and myself, where we're going to go into more of the governmental and the judicial, I can't speak today, Mercury retrograde system, and the DA and the prosecutor and why this whole fabrication started to begin with. This girl got a plea deal where she only served eight years in prison for unaliving her own mother, and in my opinion, and strictly my opinion, I think she should still be in prison. I think she will offend again. But we're going to get into that deeper with Fancy and Shanti on Wednesday, September 4th on the live show again at 12 p.m. Eastern time over on either Aqu- Aquarius Rising Africa or Solutions with Shanti. Those are both of her channels. I'll, again, I'll tag those down below. It depends. Shanti, like Fancy, like myself, sometimes we get in a bit of trouble because we push the boundaries. So sometimes we're scheduled to go live on one channel, but we can't. So we go on the other channel. So just please keep your eye on both channels if you want, want to participate in this live. And we're also going to be talking about in the second part with Fancy, HBO's involvement. And for those who are not from the United States, HBO, HBO is a huge, huge network here in the United States. And it's very rather interesting that the CEO of HBO ended up at Gypsy's gender reveal party for her baby. That's very strange. And there is a conspiracy that the prosecutor the da and the hbo they all kind of colluded with the family to create this narrative to sell this story that this was a girl who was fighting for her life and it worked it absolutely worked because i was i was fooled i've been fooled since 2015 when the crime actually happened so it's it's nice to kind of get the truth out there and again even though i don't personally know gypsy and i'm not personally involved in this story it is rather troublesome that this has even happened and i do absolutely believe in my opinion that this girl is going to hurt somebody again i don't know if she'll unalive somebody but i don't think that this girl is somebody who's going to be able to maintain a civilized life in society with the rest of us okay i i think i don't think she's i think she's i mean legally she's a felon right some felons can change i don't think she can Now, the interesting thing, when I went to go try to load this video up on YouTube, is YouTube kept kicking it out of my dashboard. I don't know if that's a Mercury retrograde thing or not. It might be just a glitch with YouTube right now because it is a very long episode. That might might be why it's having a hard time processing it because it's almost two hours. But nonetheless, I have loaded the full episode up on my Rumble page, Esoteric Atlanta on Rumble. A link to that will be down in the description box below. So you can just click the link and go directly there. If you're new, it'll be under show notes. Um, If you're from France and Norway, send me an email. You guys know what to do if you don't have Rumble. Just send me an email, put your country in the subject line. And then in in the actual email, put fancy. And I'll know to send you the full episode. I am going to try to get it to upload onto YouTube in a couple of days. I'm just going to give it a couple of days and see if it's something go- they're working out with their system. Because, again, the length of it, I don't know. Um, I'm also, I, I do, however, also know that there is a big um, attack right now on creators, not just fancy, but a lot of creators who are starting to push back against the Blanchards. And all this started, guys, all of this pushback started because Fancy figured out the truth. And and so I don't know if that's got something to do with it because my conspiracy hat goes on because we know the HBO is involved. I don't know. It, again, it could just be a YouTube glitch. So for now, if you're if you're eager to watch this now, which I hope you are, just follow the link down below over to my Rumble page so that you can watch it on Rumble also, just a heads up, you guys, I've opened up a TikTok. So make sure you're following me on Esoteric Atlanta on TikTok. Um, and then back to Rumble, there is a fake Esoteric Atlanta page. So I am just Esoteric Atlanta. And Rumble is actually my backup account. So it's I'm never going to have two Esoteric Atlanta channels on Rumble. I might eventually have like Esoteric Atlanta and Esoteric Atlanta 2.0 on YouTube. That's something I've thought about. But Rumble is just the backup. 
So there's only ever going to be one channel of mine on Rumble. It was brought to my attention yesterday that somebody has opened up an Esoteric Atlanta official. That's the title. And it's my my picture. Now, they have obviously blocked me because I can't find them, but other people can. So please make sure that you are following my correct page. There's not a whole lot that I can do about this. Um, this is what scammers do. It happens. It happens to all of us. It's literally every single content creator that I work with regularly that I've become friends with. It's happened to all of us. And um, don't give your money to anybody, any type of, of, of services rendered through my channel, whether it be through a sponsorship. If you're if you're going to buy a product through one of the companies that sponsors me, it's not even going to go through any, me anyway. It's going to go through the company. All right. And, and any courses that you decide to take with me, that's also a business. There's actually going to be a, it's a business. I'm never going, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I am never going to ask you for money. All right. You can join the Patreon if you want to, like if you want to help support the channel, that link is always in the description box. You can join the Patreon and do that, but that is absolutely up to you. I'm never going to, I'm never going to ever ask you to give me money. So please be aware of that. There are a lot of scammers out there that try to be me or try to be other people to try to get money. I'm never going to message you privately if I don't know you personally and be like, hey, I've got a reading for you. No, I don't do that. Okay. Um, so just be very, just use discernment. Just be very, very aware of what's happening. And again, please understand that there is nothing I can do about it. So if you give money to a scammer who's using my name, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't get you that money back because it's not me, right? I don't even know where these scammers are. Some of them are over in like the Philippines. Like I, I can't, there's only so much that I can, uh, uh, that I, the action I can take to try to get these fake channels taken down. And the only time I actually, people can actually get fake channels taken down is if that channel starts to play copyrighted videos without commentary. Okay, so please be very, just please be very careful. Please use discernment, guys. There are awful people in this world. As we're talking about Gypsy Rose, there are awful people in this world and just have your wits about you. Now, with that being said, again, follow the link below. I'm just going to exit this, this little promo on YouTube for the full episode. I'm going to exit it with one of our sponsorship videos, which is if you're new here and you're interested in like ulterior, um, energy treatments i had kind of at a loss for words it's mercury retrograde um i am sponsored by both spooky two and mirror mate these are two different companies under the same umbrella sister company they're sister companies of each other and they, these are both dealing with tech and te tesla technology they're incredible incredible products and um all the information is down the webs in the description box to their websites and like what they do. And both of these companies have really incredible customer service. So if you have questions, you need to understand how to use this stuff, these products, they have great customer service. It can walk you through that. With that being said, if you want to purchase any of these products or try any of these products, you can use my name, Bryce Watson, B R I C E. W-A-T-S-O-N at checkout. That's your coupon code at checkout for 5% off any and all purchases through either Spooky2 and or Mira Mate. So we're going to exit this episode with a quick advertisement from my sponsors. You don't have to stick around and watch if you don't want to, but if you want to watch, want to stick around and watch it, this is interesting to you. Awesome. Um, also this, uh, this episode will eventually be up on Fancy's channel as well. The Good Wives Network, which, which you will get all that information of where you can con connect with her and get her, her content when you watch the full episode over on Rumble. Oh, I forgot to say, forgot to say this. I have cut certain sections. So I know this is a really hot topic right now. And so for anybody out there who's a TikToker, who is covering the Gypsy Rose Blanchard case. Um, in the beginning of this episode, I actually, when I was editing and putting pictures in, like the beginning where there's a lot of pictures, I actually went ahead and muted certain words that I know TikTok doesn't like to hopefully make it easier for you guys if you want to cut segments of this to use in your, in your content. It's totally up to you, but I just felt like I know a fancy's on TikTok a lot, so I just want to make sure that I made that easier for you guys. But nonetheless, you guys, I cannot wait to hear your thoughts and your opinions down in the comment section below. I know this is a very, very, very passionate case. People are very passionate about this case. Just please make sure you're respectful to each other 
And um, yeah. All right, you guys. Hold tight for this little commercial from our sponsorships, and then we will see you over on Rumble. So you get the you get all the tea, all the details on the evolution of Fancy Maselli's journey with the Gypsy Rose Blanchard case. Hi, I'm going to talk to you about Miramate today. It is something that I discovered just about two months ago. I had been just fighting excruciating knee pain after I took a back step into a hole and twisted it. I had the usual treatment, you know, they, they checked it out and they said that there was no tear, but there had to have been a tear, even though the knee is just too small to see, because it just wasn't healing. It burned, it hurt, it was bruisy, it, it was swollen, it just wasn't good. And so I tried all the usual, you know, the pain medication, the uh, NSAIDs, and none of that seemed to be helping at all. So then I did a little research and thought, well, okay, I'll try a near-infrared device. That device did help some, and now we're talking about two months later. So I hurt my knee in June, and in August I was still hurting, so then I went ahead and ordered this device, and in September I tried it for about three weeks before it started working at all, and it really wasn't taking me over to where I needed to be in order to be able to function, to walk normally, and even to sleep. This thing was keeping me awake. Um, so then I um, talked to a friend about it, and she said, oh, well, you have to try this. You know, here, you get this, this PEMF device from Miramaid. It's reasonable, and it works. It'll heal. I didn't believe it, but of course, when you're in a lot of pain, you're always searching for a solution. So therefore, I went ahead and ordered it. It came quickly. It was amazing. And this is not an unboxing thing, but I do want to show you that this is the Mini Magic. That is what I ordered. It comes with a power cord. You can use it with batteries. And the standard order comes with this device, which I have taped together because I was using it on my dog. But this is two leads, and you put these on different sides, you know, with the little things poking out, and then you can wrap it up with the elastic bands that they give you. They give you a small one, like if you want to use it for your wrist, and they also give you a big one if you want to use it in any other part of your body. Like for me, it was for my knee. I went ahead and also ordered the quads because I do suffer from back pain and hip pain, and I thought, well, if it cures my knee or makes me feel better that way, then it's bound to work on those pains as well, and that will require the bigger ones. So I ordered the mini with the standard and the quad. It came. I used it immediately. Within three days of using this thing, I started to get relief. Now, mind you, I was just grateful to get relief, but... I was like, will it actually heal me? So I continued to use it, and I felt that I wasn't making enough progress. For some reason, it seemed to be working, but not as much. So I decided to use the quad on my knee. And doing that, within a week's time, I was walking normally again. It was an incredible thing. It was amazing, almost miraculous. I mean, it almost brings me to tears because nothing else had worked. Nothing the doctors had done, nothing that I had done on my own. You know, the cold, the heat, all that stuff that they always tell you to do. Rest, none of it had worked. And this thing not only took the pain and inflammation away almost instantaneously within those first three days, but within a week's time, I was walking almost completely normally. And by the end of the second week, I actually forgot that I had been injured when I started doing more activities around the house. And so, I'm a believer. Um, in fact, I find that this thing is not only so easy to use, I mean, it has three settings. You can use it with a battery so you can carry it with you. You can plug it in to your computer because it has a USB. You also get a cube, so you can plug it in to electricity. And you can use it any way you'd like, anywhere you'd like. I didn't use it for that long. I only used it for about half an hour to an hour a day. Um, so, um, at first, and then once I realized that it was working, then I started using it a little bit more as recommended. And, of course, now I only use it if and when something flares up. Now, I have come to find that this has made such a difference. With my health issues, I do suffer from pain all the time. And I also got COVID. And with COVID, my vision, for some reason, was affected. If I put these things on, almost like eyeglasses, and just give myself a short treatment, my vision clarifies, so it gets clearer. 
I don't know how it works or why it works, but it works. So my vision has been improving since I started doing that. In fact, I um, did some more research throughout all of this and found out that not only is it a very safe um, type of method of treatment or therapy, but you can also use it on animals. And so here I have my little guy, Tito. And little Tito, he suffers from dry eye. And so right now I'm spending about $160 a month to treat this little guy's dry eyes. That's a lot of money. Not only that, but I can tell that even though I am giving him his medications religiously three times a day, and he has four medications, that his little eye still hurts because he does a little bit of extra blinking, he scratches at it, and he rubs it. But what I have seen and what I have done is I've gone ahead, and that's why these were taped, because I was using them on him. And so I just put them together, so that way I have one. And then I just put it over his eye like that. And then we use it as a bonding time where I just literally cuddle him. And he just gets his treatment about five, to five minutes. And that's it. And I have seen some improvement. Even if I'm a little late on his medications. You now I try to be very religious. But even if I am a tiny bit late, his eye is not drying out as much as it was. And although he's still rubbing. I just started doing this a week or so ago. And it's only five minutes a day. But even though he's still rubbing, it's not quite as bad as it was. So I think it's working. And I'm very eager to continue doing it on a daily basis and see if we can get him to a better place and see what the vet says without telling the vet when he goes in for his treatment in January. I'm excited. I'm also excited and such a believer that I decided to um, purchase the mat and I can't wait to get it. And I look forward to maybe getting better health and less pain. Anyway, thanks. If you decide to try it, I hope it works as well for you as it did for me.